Hey anybody, it's time for one of my low production value videos again. I'm going to build a table for this eight and a quarter inch Ryobi table saw that I purchased because those things are kind of dangerous. Um, at least that's what the internet tells me. And uh, I had an accident with one before. Thankfully minor, but involving stitches. So we're going to build a table so that we can safely use this thing. And I'm going to turn this pile of wood into this table that you see right here. To do this, I purchased eight two by four by eights and a three quarter inch four by eight piece of plywood that I then had ripped down to three foot by six foot, saving the one foot by six foot section so that I can have a wing that folds down and up whenever I need extra outfeed space. I saw a lady on YouTube make this table and I'll put her videos link in there because she probably deserves more credit. I didn't want to buy the plans like she did just simply because all of my measurements were going to be different. And you know, you can look at something that somebody built 10 times and just kind of figure out what to do from there. You know, unless you're like, you know, a lazy Democrat or something, then you probably better rob a bank and pay somebody to build it for you. So anyway, um, I made some dimensions here for mine and it's going to be different from the video that you see with hers she gives you a few dimensions my table saw is going to sit about an eighth inch higher than the surface of this table so that nothing catches on it whenever i'm doing it now the only thing i don't understand yet is why this table saw came with this weird sex toy Anyway, maybe I don't know something. So I've got all the screws and fasteners and uh, this is going to be a little folding one foot table on the side to make it wider whenever I need a little bit of extra width um, for outfeed. These are casters that I have on this table that I like. They work. They're from Amazon. And uh, I'm going to try to build it somewhat square, you know. Um, I'm also going to incorporate this Ryobi router into the table on the right side middle of it so that I can have a table for routing and not mess up the table that you see here. So I got some stuff to keep everything nice and square. Um, might force myself to use some fun little lights there. I got some music and I've got a very bored dog right here who is anxious to have that garage door open and protect me from what do you call those people? Uh, Democrats and what else am I? Who are you going to protect me from? Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, and solicitors. Better do a good job. I'll tell you what, before we get started, let's go play fetch. You want to go play fetch? Come on. Oh, sweet. She's not making me fetch it this time. Man, well, fetch is over and I'm already run into my first problem. <laughs> my rain is empty. The other problem is, I don't know what this is. I've spent three days trying to figure, I mean minutes, three minutes trying to figure out what this is and why it's here. I'm never gonna be able to concentrate. Okay, here's the top of the table. It's pretty much square. I mean, you know, as far as crappy wood can be, but square enough to do what I'm doing. Now the other nice thing is my measurements uh, were pretty good. They're going to have these legs on the side like this. And then the, well, it'll be like that with another 2 by 4 going like that. And this build table here is the same width as my tabletop over there. So that looks like it came out just right. So yay, high school algebra, you didn't help me at all here either, so. Okay, this is the top piece, and this is actually the top surface of the top piece, so I'm gonna flip it over to start screwing the legs into it, like that lady's video. On her video, if I remember right, she said to place this board at, I think 19 inches. But she has a different table saw than me. It's a Ryobi, but it's a bigger one. I'm not sure about that table height but I've measured mine and I made mine 20 inches so that gives me a little bit of leeway for my table uh, it'll be almost right against it maybe a quarter inch overhang if my measurements are correct and you know they might not be but we'll see what happens I'll just unscrew it and screw them in somewhere else so 
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start doing the legs now, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I got the legs done. They're all tied in together and I'm relatively certain that they are square and uh, ready to be put together with the base down there. I mean, I'm not high school algebra two, sure, but I'm high school algebra one, sure. So we'll roll with it. All right, so I have the basic frame complete here. I trim my legs down to the height I actually want them. My table is hopefully gonna be 35 inches tall. It's just a hair taller than I wanted, but if for any crazy reason I need an even bigger table for outfeed, then I will be able to put this one next to it, lock the wheels and use it as well. So I'm gonna lower that bottom frame, which is currently on the top, just enough that I can get these blocks screwed onto the frame so that I can then mount these and then I'll flip it over make sure that my lower frame is all the way flat against these blocks right here and then I'll secure them and I'll also make sure that the legs are pulled in tight in both directions as well so as it sits right now everything is actually really square considering the crappy Home Depot lumber. And to be honest with you, I didn't spend a lot of time in there because I've been trying to teach myself not to spend three hours trying to find the perfect lumber in their pile. Just get something relatively decent and go. Who cares? It's just going to be a work table. So anyway, uh, I'm going to do the next thing. I've got my two cross braces down there for my table saw shelf cut to width. And I've got the other three pieces to make the frame cut to length and I'll mount that last once I have it set up on the wheels and everything and can uh, get the perfect height for that table saw to sit one eighth inch proud of that plywood surface. Now it's the next night. I haven't actually attached that plywood surface yet. It's just been sitting there kind of getting flattened out. Hopefully I don't think it's going to work. I bet if I take that heavy toolbox off of it and the frame, it's just going to kind of bow back up. But it's going to be flat one way or the other. So we'll see what happens. Okay, here's a table saw uh, table with the frame complete minus the shelf, which I'm about to assemble. I decided to leave the casters off for now, but I am really happy with this thing. Yep, I'm not going to complain about that. So what I'm trying to say is either I did a pretty good job of building this thing square just using those clamps, these things, or my garage floor is really crooked. Either way, I'm going to start on this shelf, then get it um, ready to mount with these side legs. Then I'm going to flip this thing over and go ahead and mount it to the table top over there and I'll be using 90 degree brackets like the lady in the video that I linked did as well. And um, then I'll get the casters on it and I will mark out where I'm gonna cut the table saw opening at, but I'm gonna wait for tomorrow to do that so I can go back outside and make a mess out there for the wind to blow it all over to my neighbor's yards. Don't tell them that I, I did that. Okay, fast forward a couple of days. I've got two coats of paint on the legs for my table here. You can see that I have the casters on. I'm getting ready to attach the tabletop to the frame using these 90 degree brackets and screws. Whenever I get that done, I'll do the cutout for the table saw. And then um, once that's done, I'll mount the shelf. And once I get these legs on the side that are gonna hold the shelf on the outside side up, I will start mounting these 90 degree brackets that I'll be able to fold this one foot width section down and just use it whenever I need it. Okay, I got the cutout and the table done. Got everything sanded. I got the edges smoothed out. I've got the deck that the table saw is going to sit on. This frame cut, sanded, ready to go. 
So I'm going to put some uh, protective coating stuff on here and let it dry. And while it's doing that, I'm going to rough in this deck here for the table saw. All right, people, here we are at the end, kind of. I got the basic table done. Everything's painted with two coats. I got the table saw table mounted right where it needs to be so that the table saw table sits just a little bit proud all around. I got plenty of room there for, you know, junk to fall through and that fence to slide around. I left the both tabletops the same color. I just thought it would look cool. I'm not going to do a deck down there just yet, like the video that I've referenced uh, I might later, but not really interested in it. I just want to be able to put my vacuum down there and plug it up to the saw right there, which is different from her video. But at any rate, uh, there you have it. I used uh, semi-gloss black paint on this. I didn't really want to do that, but I ended up liking it anyway. So I'm glad that's all they had and I gave it a chance. So it's uh, water based and uh, I'm sorry, it's oil based and um, cleans up real easy regardless. So, but it came out good. The table is level and square and sits flat on the ground. And uh, I guess I'll start using it to build things. But if you have any questions, let me know. One last thing, everybody. I went ahead and put the folding section of the table together and got that working just right so I could add it with this video. Uh, the other tables that I saw on YouTube didn't have that, and I thought, well, that'll at least make mine stand out in case one of you knuckleheads happen to come across it. Now, before I get started talking about how that thing went and the three failed attempts I had before, I just want to clarify that I found out that this is not a sex toy, and I'm probably going to use it. You'll see that my folding table sits lower than the tabletop here. The first attempt that I did with this didn't work out the way I mounted the brackets, and it actually sat a little high, and I had to step back and tell myself to slow down, think this thing through, and uh, yeah. So it folds up and it locks, and you'll notice that the pattern matches because this is a piece that they ripped off this piece at Home Depot for me. So let's go in here and talk about the fun part. So I wanted to have plenty of support. So I have two brackets here and I have two brackets over there, but there's four releases to lower it. So I need to connect them somehow. So I came up with a three quarter inch angle from Home Depot. It was like four foot long and about eight bucks. So great deal. Um, I ran out of black spray paint, but it turns out that I had a can of orange spray paint. So I thought, why not match the tires? The wheels, rather. So anyway, this is what I end up having to do in case you want to do it. I have a little spacer, just a little screw holding it on. I had to actually cut this side out here so that it clears this whenever I fold the table but all I got to do is put one hand here one hand on the other one and the table will fold the other thing is I'm going to take these off and on at least a couple of them and the holes that these screws go in I'm gonna have to trim them with a dremel because these things are like 90 or they're like 92 degrees whenever you measure them and I'll show you a picture here of how they kind of laid out and I just kind of got mad and flipped the table over upside down and screwed them on anyway so it worked out good the table was actually flush despite the extra two degrees but you can see a slight mismatch on two spots here and one right there so I just need to enlarge those holes slide it down screw it back in and the other thing is I had to make blocks that were short for these because if uh, you don't then this thing just jams up against there you can't release it and fold it down all the way also you don't have to release it to raise it but the only thing I might do is route out a little channel here for the bar to sit in whenever I fold it but it's almost straight up and down as it is so 
I will go ahead and deck the bottom here because I did put wood across it and it messed the paint up, which made me not happy. So, um, but I got a whole nother can of this stuff. So I did rip a deck for that table over there with all that spare wood sitting on it, which is why I ended up building this table because I ripped all that plywood without a table to set the table saw and then it was kind of dangerous so and as I mentioned before I, uh, I had a table saw accident back in the day and I got five stitches on the thumb there I don't want to talk about it but anyway I hope you like this build and video and if you have any questions let me know I'll answer anything if you like it let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next one